Hey guys, look what I got here, new skate, so excited for this. Hello guys, Jose here from Gold Coast Blading, thank you for watching this video again, I hope you enjoyed this review about the new skates I just got here. So, but just, just, just before showing you this, this amazing new setup that I just got, I want to show you a few skates that I'm going to use to compare with. Yes, I just say it, the DEM 909, this is the new skate. And I'm going to compare the skates with the M12, with the Roses 5th Element, with the USD Aeons. Also, I want to see if there is any difference between the Seva Linerless Carbon Boot and the DEM 909 with the Wizard Frames. So there will be an episode with the 909 with the wizard frames. I'm gonna test it with the PR76 and I'm going to test it as well with the NR100 and see if they can perform well with this big wheel set. So if you are new to this channel, consider to subscribe and hit the bell so you will get notified when we upload that episode when we compare it with the M12. Also, we're going to compare the DEM 909 with the USD Aeons Lomax version. We'll see which perform better. I'm pretty happy with this case though. Also, I'm going to compare the DEM 909 with Rose's fifth element and see which one actually performs better. It's gonna be a white soul plate against a quite thinner one, smaller soul plate, so I wanna see which of both skates perform better. Obviously, at my own skating level, so we'll see how it goes. So I wanna ask you, what would you like to see first? The DEM 909 with the Wish frames, with the 50-50 balance frames, or with the solar aluminum frame? Leave me your preference down below in the comment section so I can choose which frame to use after the Wizards PR76. One of the reasons why I bought these skates was because the presentation made by Kyla Sola. Kyla Sola is a Venezuelan designer. He he's originally from Venezuela. I am originally from Venezuela, uh, so I wanted to support part of his work. Although I know John Julio is the the mastermind behind them. But yeah, I was pretty excited to know that a Venezuelan designer was behind the DEM 909 design. And as he said, the design, the amazing design for this case are simple, functional, and intuitive. So that's, I think that's, that's it at all. So without further ado, Let's open the box and finally see the Dem Nayonami. Oh, there are extra goodies here as well because I bought a couple of nippers. Dem Nayonami. So excited. Let me show you because I also you also got a few extra goodies. So this thing is pronounced owning knee pads which is pretty pretty comfortable and cool and protective. So yeah I'm gonna test them as well. I might give you my opinion about it. And the moment I've been waiting for a couple of months because I put this order back in November 2019 is finally here the 26th <laughs> the 26th of May of 2020 so oh cool look at this it comes with a nice nice cool post pretty nice awesome 
Thank you guys from Loco, Harry, Gaston, appreciate it. So cool. Nice. Uh, I got a couple of stickers. Nice. I'm gonna put it in. Um, I think it's time to get a new helmet. So once I get a new helmet, I might put up uh, some of these ones. Pretty cool. Of course, the letter from them very much. Well, thanking me for buying the the skates, uh, some warnings, some technical information about the skates. That's pretty good that they put that information, especially for those who are just getting back into blading or just starting uh, the journal here as a blader. All right, what else we have here? Nice. These are also another enemy, enemy, uh, elbow pads. And finally, and two, 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 Nice and fresh. Love the details. Wow, look at this. The nut. Damn. Logo. Soul plate. Buckles. The system looks pretty, pretty solid. I'm so excited to have this scale. I think they look amazing. Such a great look. The color is great and the texture is a very interesting te texture. Um, it's not like a, the M12 or the Aeons at all. They look, they, they feel different. It's like a other kind of finishing in the plastic. Right? Um, and the saw plates, I, I, I was expecting something a little bit is smaller and actually it, it doesn't look that small i want to compare quickly the saw plate with the usd agents and see if there are a big difference yeah um, i guess i guess the main difference is the shape the shape of the, of the saw plate um, yes, true, the eons are a little bit wider in the back, in the back section of the, of the saw plate, but to me, it's not a huge difference. So here we are, finally getting them, it comes with the intuition liner, let me, let me get the liner. Oh, you have to see this. I love that. Look, the lace, the lace system is pretty, pretty, pretty high. It goes all the way up. So I'm pretty sure it will work very well in place of any 45 degrees straps. So yeah, it seems like a, they don't really need a strap because the lace system. This is the, the intuition liner. Um, pretty cool. So because I I watch back to blading review about the liners, I'm going to compare the intuition liner. I think this is the V3. It's called I'm, I'm not sure exactly. It is a V3, a V3, but I'm going to compare it with. I'm going to compare the the V2 that I got from my Wizards Escape with the Intuition Dem Liner and see if there is a big difference. My first impression: 
They look very similar. The, the intuition then version seems a little bit fada. It doesn't it doesn't have the option to remove the supportive ankle area here, the this extra cuff that provide you extra support. But I noticed that it's really stiff. Um, probably that's the reason why it doesn't require any additional support. It also comes with a shock absorption pad that you can remove or leave as per your preference. Uh, the looks is, is pretty good and it has this little dot here that apparently make the line look to the boot very well so there is a better interface between the boot and the liner and therefore the performance and the energy transfer should work even better so I, I have a feeling that this boot will work very well with the wizard frame when the cup is high. The original setup, it comes high, so I'm gonna use it first high because the first setup that I'm going to try on the stage are, yeah, I'm gonna try first of all this setup uh, because I saw it the other day on, on Instagram and uh, I think it looks amazing and if it works well, it's gonna be a very nice setup to have wizard capability plus aggressive alternative as well. So look, it's gonna look something like that. And I think it looks wonderful. It looks, it looks so good. See, it looks so good. That was gonna be my first uh, try, my first. I'm gonna probably skate two or three times and then I'm going to set my 55th ball, the balance friends with the juice blocks and see how they work for grinds and all the stuff. So I'm going to be very much putting one or two videos on, on the YouTube channel in the next couple of weeks for each setup. I'm gonna give you my opinion about how they work so if you are new to this channel, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you will get notified every time we upload a new episode. I'm gonna set as well the solar frames. So I'm going to compare as well the Den 909 with the Roses Fifth Element with this same setup, so with the solar frames, aluminum H-block. In terms of the sole plate, it seems. In terms of the sole plate, again, there is not much difference. It's more just about the shape, the shape of the sole plate rather than the width. So probably the sole plate of the fifth element is a little bit, a little bit more forgiven. But anyway, we will see, we will use them, we will test them with all these different setups. Uh, I'm gonna give you my opinion. So yeah, we got the Dems 909 with the Intuition Liner, which I'm going to compare with the Intuition Liner B2 and see if there is any difference between them. I'm super happy, I'm super happy with the B2. So let's see if the Intuition the version is as good as the V2. My first setup is going to be with the Quizzer frames. I'm gonna test it for a few days, but then I'm going to move on to the 50-50 balance frames and see how they perform. And also I'm going to try it as well the solar frame, the aluminum solar frame and, and also the other frame that I'm going to test it with, I'm pretty sure it's going to work very well, is with the, the wish frame. Um, yeah, it just, it just putting it this way it looks amazing, uh, pretty sure it's going to perform very well, very, very well. So 
very much that's it so remember to subscribe to the channel for the new upcoming episodes so you will be able to watch and, and know a bit more about the performance of the 909 the m909 versus the roses m12 the roses fifth element the usd aeons lomax version and um, we're gonna also test different frames so we can very much came up with a very good setup and i, I will be able to tell you uh, in my opinion what is the best setup within the range of frames that i have well guys that was all for this episode i hope you like it if you have any questions please leave me a comment with the question down below so i can get back to you and respond i'm always happy to receive all your questions and get back to you i'm enjoying all this interaction with with you all guys and that's that's pretty awesome i also want to thank you guys for the support to this channel it, it means heaps it means a lot for us um well, just stay tuned, stay safe, thank you for watching and see you next time.